Hey, it's Ben from SellingGroceries.com again, and today I want to kind of continue the uh, what I was talking about in the last video, and actually last several videos where we've been looking at a variety of different seller tools. The tool we want to look at today is called um, Feedback 5, okay? And uh, Feedback 5 is basically, you can probably guess, it's a tool for automating uh, the feedback for your account. So I just want to talk a little bit about Amazon feedback and eBay feedback. Uh, I know a lot more of the newer sellers are more familiar with the eBay platform than they might be with Amazon FBA. And there's a big difference between the two because I have found with eBay it's a lot easier to get feedback. It seems to be more built into the system. Whereas with Amazon, the feedbacks are few and far between. And sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing, right? I think uh, Amazon buyers are typically, they're willing to pay a premium and uh, they have tend to have more money than time. And, and it's the other way around with eBay, right? So when you have more money than time, even if there is a problem, I've had a lot of uh, refund requests in the past and I always assume a negative feedback might be coming along with it um, and surprisingly it doesn't happen very often and, and like I said it's a good and a bad thing because if if people are going to go and leave feedback or go out of their way to leave feedback it, it might not be a good feedback you know so sometimes you're like well I'd rather have no feedback than bad feedback well there's a flip side to that because when you only have 20 or 30 feedbacks and you get a negative your percentage goes down takes a major major hit so feedback is important and what you want to do obviously is you want to sell a quality product you want to focus on providing the best customer experience possible so that you can ask for feedback and the feedback that you get should be good feedback you know and if it's bad uh, another thing is you want to be on stay on top of it you don't want to see that you got a negative feedback three weeks after it happened because you're not really monitoring it and that's where a tool like feedback five comes into play because what it is it, it basically is going to take care of that manual process of asking for feedback from your customers right it's it's going to automate it and like these other few other tools that we looked at it also when you sign up they do have a free trial a uh, light account which I think you can send 50 emails a month and that's completely free so there's no reason why you shouldn't sign up for the service and um, and this when you first sign up this is the interface you're gonna see and and I just signed up for the trial myself but I just wanted to mention it to you and, and kinda talk to you about it and give you the pros and cons so once you sign up it goes and connects to Amazon to your seller account it uses uh, Amazon web services to go ahead and, and download your order history and things like that and um, having that connection to your Amazon seller account makes it easy for this tool to kind of monitor your orders and uh, get your customer information and do the automated uh, email campaigns that you want so that's the heart and soul of this system is you basically want to create um, some templates for you know asking the customer for feedback and they're gonna have a first seller feedback request a second seller feedback request and a product review request because not only do you want to ask for feedback but um, you may be doing um, uh, what's it called private label products where you know you're selling the parts not like a bunch of sellers selling just one box of Cheerios it's you creating a product your own product with your own private brand and uh, the feedback for the product itself is all about you so so that's another part of it and another valuable feature but in all of these what you're doing basically is you're gonna go ahead and use the wizard to create a template you can set the colors and the content and introduction we're contacting you to ensure that your expectations were met for order with media one that's my company and it'll put your company and you can customize the template and all the messages that the customers will see and this is basically it in a nutshell is you're going to create these uh, two messages and the system will automatically after a set period of time when an order comes in it's going to wait the time frame that you specify it's going to send them that first uh, email request that first feedback request and then it'll probably wait another day or two and send them a second one and from when you do that basically at that point you know you're it's on autopilot and like I said if you're selling quality products it's going to go out there ask customers for feedback get the feedback and you know 
The difference between using a tool like this and you not doing anything at all is night and day for building your feedback. And you do want to, you know, it's it has so many benefits beyond just the score. Um, it 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 gets you in a position to get that buy box because Amazon does look at the seller's feedback rating and uh, if it's a tie between three sellers guess who's going to get the buy box it's going to be the person with the best best uh, feedback rating and for those of you who are not familiar with a buy box that just means that when you go to Amazon and you look for a product I'll show you real quick and this is the buy box right here Okay, and guess who has the buy box on this product? Surprise, surprise, it's Amazon. Um, but, you know, with all different types of products, you'll have, there's a bunch of rotating sellers. Let's see if anyone shipped, sold by shipped fast has the buy box. Okay, and so basically there could be three or four sellers all selling it for $12.89, and the one with the best uh, rating, you know, Amazon has an, a ranking algorithm, but that's one of the criteria for it. So it pays to do it. I'm not going to go into all the other details here because it is fairly straightforward as far as what it does and how it does it. It's basically you set up some email templates, it goes out and automates the process of asking for feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please go ahead and hit the like button if you do, and I hope you could consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit us online at www.sellinggroceries.com. Thanks, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.